All right, shalom, shalom. First, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha Kodash, which is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honors to the head apostles, and that is a great millstone who well and taught us his wisdom, truth, and knowledge, and peace and blessings. He sincere Akim that are pushing his truth all over the four corners of the earth, week in and week out, and all truth and sincerity is the brother Mathadiah coming to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai with Lord willing and edifying lesson. All right. And as you see in the title, this is from Fox News, um, published on October 27th, 2020, Year of Prophecy. It says, Police ID pastor accused of urinating on female Delta passenger. Quote, he peed on me. <laughs> I'm going to read that again. Police ID pastor accused of urinating on female Delta passenger. And I quote, he peed on me. Okay. So apparently a pastor on a flight in the air while this lady was sleeping started peeing on this woman, man. Okay, says the lead pastor of Love Wins Ministry told the plane's captain he plans to sue the airline. <laughs> All right, let's get into a little bit of this article. Man. It says police on Tuesday identified the man accused of urinating on a fellow passenger during a Delta flight earlier this month as a pastor from Rowley. A police report obtained by the Winston-Salem Journal says Danielle Calmers was arrested at the Detroit Metro Airport after the flight landed on October 13th. According to the report, a passenger named, uh, yeah, I won't even name the name, told police she woke up on the plane around 2.45 a.m. to find a man urinating on her. Okay? And these are the passes that, you, uh, that, that these people follow, man. Okay? And we've been telling you, man, these passes are involved in much, much wickedness, man. Okay? You know, and hey, there's a picture of the pastor right there, man. Okay. Daniel Chalmers it says police said Beverly alerted the flight crew and the two were separated. When asked what had happened, Beverly reported, reply, replied, he peed on me. <laughs> hey, man, these pastors and preachers, man, these false teachers, they got heavy demons on them, man. All right. When the man was asked, what did you do? He reportedly said, I peed on her. I thought I was going to the bathroom. After the plane landed in Detroit, airport police boarded the plane and Beverly told the officers what had happened. Police said the man initially denied her accusations, telling officers, I'm a pastor. That is out of my character and I didn't do it. Hey, man, and that's what, <laughs> and that's what these pastors and preachers, man, they like to use, man. Okay. They like to use the, hey, man, I'm a pastor. I'm a preacher. Okay. I'm this. I'm that. Hey, I'm the pastor of this church. You know, the thinks that they're going to get a, 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 a an, an excuse card, man. Okay. You know, for all the wickedness that they're doing, man. And, and a lot of these pastors and preachers are involved in these Masonic groups. Okay. You know, they're, they're involved in these secret societies. All right. They're involved in homosexuality. Okay. Just do your research on the uh, uh, the uh, what was it Trinity Baptist Church I believe the uh, the down low group okay where men uh, where this pastor would hold this group where men would come together and could have sexual relations homosexual relations okay and and and, and the church and and their family wouldn't know man they call it the down low group man they would live these these separate lives you know on the surface they would have a wife a kid kids. Be going to church, have a house, a family, quote unquote. But behind closed doors, they were involved in homosexual relations, man. All right. It said, I'm going to read that again. I'm a pastor that is out of my character. I didn't do it. <laughs> it says, uh, when he asked for proof of the woman's allegations, one of the officers told him that the victim's clothing was covered in his urine and the seat was as well. He also told the man that he was the only person standing on the aircraft and was observed standing directly over the victim. Okay. Hey, man. So <laughs> they have substantial evidence on this, on, on the, the pastor peeing on this woman, man. Okay. And you know, the, 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 the minute that happened, that pastor part, uh, 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 
you know, thought in his mind that he might lose his congregation, he might lose his church. Overall, he's going to lose that money and funding that he's getting setting up that church, man. Okay, deceiving the people, man. All right. So he immediately said, what? I'm a pastor. That's out of my character. I didn't do it. <laughs> you know, it says uh, the officer said in his report that he observed a small visual apparent wet spot in the groin area of his shorts and the smell and and sloppy and that he smells of alcohol and his eyes were bloodshot. OK, so this man was part drunk on some type of pills, all, all types of stuff, man. OK. The man also told police he was on medication. Police identified the man as Daniel Chalmers. The journal reported that Chalmers is the lead pastor at Love Wins Ministry in Raleigh. And a staff member at the Catch the Fire Raleigh Durham Church. Chalmers was escorted off the plane and taken into custody. According to the report, Chalmers told the captain he planned to sue Delta Airlines for defamation of character for the treatment of him. <laughs> so with all this substantial evidence, witnesses, this guy's still denying it, man. Okay? And he plans, he said he plans on, quote, unquote, to sue the uh, uh, airlines for defamation of character, man. Because that's heavy, man. Okay? If you're a church pastor, man, hey, when your character's destroyed, man, you can lose your church, man. Okay? And involved with losing your church, man, you lose your, 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 your income, your donations, your tithes. OK, all the money that he was making off his people. And this, and this guy is probably a rich, 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 rich pastor, man. OK, probably teaching that prosperity doctrine, man. OK. It says. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to read that again. It says, according to the report, Chalmers told the captain he would plan to sue Delta Airlines for defamation of character for the treatment of him. man. You know, and that's these Edomites. That's Esau, man. OK. You know, he, he can never he can never man up to what he's done, man. OK, and on top of that, he always uh, uh, tries to give some ultimatum that he's going to get over the person that's accusing him for what he done. An FBI agent later interviewed Chalmers and cited him for simple assault before he was released. In statement to Fox News, Delta Airlines confirmed that law enforcement officials met Delta Flight 874 from Las Vegas to Detroit upon arrival on the morning of October 13th due to unruly customer uh, before Chalmers was identified speculation grew online about the identity or the urinating pastor last Friday Will Graham the executive executive director of Billy Graham training center on at the Cove associate evangelist with Billy Graham evangelist association took the social media to dispel rumors that he might be the culprit yeah, whatever that means OK. You know, so, hey, man, Pastor Pete on a woman on the Delta Airlines, man. OK. You know, hey, and we've been telling you uh, through the spirit power, Yah Bashim Yah Shah, through the apostle, and there's a great millstone on Dale, man. Hey, that you better stop following these pastors, man, that these pastors are wicked. They're involved in all type of wickedness. OK. They support and push wickedness. And there's no truth in these churches, man. OK. Like the scripture says, roughly paraphrasing, the most side doesn't d dwell in, in temples made by man. All right, now let me get a scripture real quick. Let me go to Matthew chapter 7. You know, and the Most High is bringing out uh, what these pastors and preachers are doing behind closed doors, man. Okay? you Different people are coming out saying, this pastor touched me. This pastor assaulted me. Okay? This pastor did this. This pastor did that. Okay? This pastor's involved in this type of wickedness. Okay, so it's all coming to light, man. All right. What's hidden will come to light, man. All right. Now let's go to Matthew chapter 7. I believe I'm going to start in verse 15. This is Matthew 7 and 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing. And that's these pastors and preachers, man, these false teachers, man, these false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, man. They come with a, a nice suit, a nice tie, you know, the so-called white man's cape that everybody deems that if you're, if you're, the majority of people, when they look at somebody in a suit and tie, you know, and a nice, uh, nice shoes and combed hair and clean cut face, you know, it, it, it snaps into their mind that they're so-called a, a good person with a little bit of money in their pocket. You know, quote unquote. Okay. 
It says, beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing. They come with the nice suits. They come with smooth words. They come with that, that, uh, that oh, I'm trying to help you. I'm on your side. What can I do for you? I'm, I'm for the people, okay? You know, I, I'm for the ministry. You know, I'm a pastor and I, I help people, you know? You know, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm bringing you salvation, you know, that's what they, these pastors come with. Uh, all you have to do is, is pray this simple prayer of salvation, accept Jesus Christ in your heart and you'll be saved, you know, and many people are captivated by this, man. Okay. Our people as well, man. You know, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans follow these false doctrines and philosophies, man. Okay. It says, beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. That's right. Inwardly, all they want is your money. Inwardly, a lot of these pastors know they're teaching false doctrine, man. Inwardly, they, they, they know they're leading people astray, man. Okay? They know that they're leading the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans astray, away from their law, statutes, and commandments, man. Okay? They're involved in, in Masonic groups and secret societies, man. Okay? They're, they're, they're pushing... Uh, uh, these elites' agendas, man. They're doing the bidding of these elites, man. Okay? They have accepted, they have, they have signed that 501c3 contract to push false doctrine, okay? To not bring certain things out and to push the agenda uh, of these elites, man. All right? It says, but inwardly, they are ravening wolves. You know, they are involved in all types of wickedness, homosexuality. Okay, all different types of scandals are coming out without these pastors. Hey, this pastor peed on a woman, man. And then on top of that, instead of confessing up like a man saying, oh, I did it. Yeah, my bad. This happened, you know, whatever, you know, confessing up to what he did. He said, I'm a pastor. This is out of my crack, out of my character. And I didn't do it, you know. And then he said, he's talking about he's going to sue the airline company, man. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, <laughs> Edomite Pat, hey, hey, uh, the basis level of men, man, okay? They're, they're bothered in the earth, man, okay? Verse 16, you shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes or thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. That's right, a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit, man, okay? The people that learn under these false pastors and false teachers, man, okay? Hey man, what do they what do they come up to be, man? If they're pursuing to be a pastor or that make that their career, quote unquote, man. Okay, they're doing the same thing that they were taught, man. Okay, they're out there teaching and preaching that they were taught by these wicked pastors. All right, verse eighteen: A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. That's right, a corrupt tree cannot bring forth good fruit, man. Okay, and at nineteen: Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hoon hoon down okay let's read that again every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is honed down okay hey man all you false teachers and false pastors man and false prophets are going to be honed down by your how about shimmy shot man okay because you're pushing false doctrine man okay you're pushing these uh, uh philosophies and doctrines okay that are against the scriptures, man, okay? You so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American pastors, man, that are preaching the truth, that are leading the flock astray, okay? That are pushing this so-called Christianity doctrine, this prosperity doctrine, this Baptist doctrine, that you're black, that you're African-American doctrine, that the so-called white man is your friend and we're supposed to join hands and hands, okay, with these devils, man, to follow the ways of the world, to go vote, you know? That are pushing all this wickedness upon our people that, that God loves everybody. That aren't pushing the true names of the Most High and His Son. All right? That aren't telling the people who they are. And, and aren't telling the people who these other nations are according to the scriptures, man. Okay? You're going to be hooned down, man. Okay? It says, Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hooned down and cast into the fire. You're going to be cast into the fire, man. Okay? And what is that fire? What is that second death, man? Okay? That's that thermonuclear fire, man. That's going to come by the way of the intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Okay? You pastors and preachers, man, are going to partake in that, man. All right? That lake of fire, man. It says, And it's cast into the lake, it's like, and cast into the fire, wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. That's right. You know, hey, you'll know, know them by their fruits, man. Okay? 
Now let's skip back a little bit. Let's go to uh, still in Matthew chapter 7. And I want to skip up to, let's see here. Uh, let me go to verse 13. It says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Okay? That straight gate, man. That straight gate. And through the apostles, and that is a great millstone on down, man. Hey, man. Lord willing, we're part of that elect number, man. Okay? You know, and when we learn this wisdom, knowledge, and truth of the spirit and power, you have by Shem Yahweh Shai through the apostles, and that is a great millstone on down, man. Okay? The Most High took those blinders off our eyes, man. Okay? You know, and revealed us this wisdom, man. Okay, and allowed us to uh, come out on the highways and byways and, and stand on our feet for Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and proclaim this truth, man. Okay? You know, and hey, and we're showing you our people the ways of righteousness, man. We're telling them to, to get up out of these churches, to stop following after these pastors, man. That the law is not done away with. That she's not supposed to be eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, man. Okay? That there's no truth in these churches, man. That the so-called white man is your enemy. That you're not black, African-American. That you're simply Hebrew Israelites, man. All right? That being a Hebrew Israelite is who you are. It's a nationality. It's not a religion or an organization. Okay? It says, enter ye in, enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. That's right. That wide, broad path. Okay? That these pastors and preachers, preachers are leading you to, man, is the path to destruction, man. Okay? It's a, it's, it's a, it, that wide, broad path is a paved road. It's got four or five lanes. Hey, you can go at a nice speed, a nice highway speed, 70, 75 miles an hour. You can set it on cruise control, you know, and just glide, man. You know? Hey, but that straight gate, man, it, it's, it's an obstacle course, man. You're going to be tested, man. Okay? It's a rocky road, man. You might have to go over a mountain, you know? You might have to jump over a cliff, climb uh, uh, climb a, 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 a rocky hillside, okay? You're going to get dirty and wet, you know? But at the end of that straight gate, man, is, is, is the kingdom, man, you know? Lord willing, we can endure until the end and, and, and be saved uh, from the destruction of this place, man. And we got, we got we're, we're looking to the kingdom, man, okay? Because that's where we're going to have rest, man. That's where we're, where we're going to rule over these other nations, man. Okay, and the kingdom's gonna be beyond what we can imagine, man. But we're not beyond what you can dream of, man. Okay. It says, "For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in there eat, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way." That's right. The path of righteousness is narrow, man. Okay, and it's a rough road, man. You're gonna be tried and tested, man. Okay. You know, <laughs> it's not gonna be easy, man. It says, which leadeth unto life. That's right. That straight gate leadeth unto life, man. Okay. And the pro and the prophets as the most high set up on the highways and byways. Okay. Telling you the, the, the ways of righteousness, trying to give you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans life, man. Okay. But the majority of our people don't want to accept life, man. They rather choose death, man. They rather choose the ways of these pastors and preachers, man. These false doctrines and philosophies, man. The ways of the heathen, man. They rather celebrate these holidays, man. Okay. They rather celebrate Christmas, their birthday, Halloween. All right. Our people right now are getting ready to go vote. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> it says, Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Mm. Few that be that find it, man. Okay? Hey, man. <laughs> very few will be saved from the destruction of this place, man. Okay, very, very few, man. Like the scripture says in, in, in Second Ezra, man. Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and get it just for edification purposes. Bear with me, real quick. <clears throat> You know, because very, very few, very few people are going to be saved, man. Okay. 
contrary to what they teach in these uh, churches, man, that a lot of people are gonna be saved. That it, the 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 that it's just a simple plan of salvation. That salvation is so so simple, man. Okay, with the scriptures which you just read, it says straight and narrow is the is the way, man. Okay. Let's go to the book of Second Ezra, chapter nine. And let's go to verse 16. Let's start in verse 15. It's the second verse 9 and 15. I said before, and now do speak, and will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. So many, many more are going to perish, all right, than of them which are going to be saved. How many? What kind of comparison are we talking about? What kind of ratio or percentage are we talking about? Well, let's read verse 16. Like as a wave is greater than a drop, man, okay? So the majority of all these people are going to die, man. The majority of these people are going to be killed in these concentration camps, die from famine and disease, die in these race wars, man. Okay, and when, when martial law is declared, man, all right, or they're going to die by them ICBM nuclear missiles, okay, they're going to bring that nuclear hellfire, man, or you're going to die by that concentrated fire that's going to come from them ships, okay, the chariots in the world ignorantly calls UFOs, man, all right. I'm going to go to Matthew chapter 15, and I'm going to go to verse 14. It says, let them alone. They be well, Salaki. Let me go up, skip up to uh, verse, verse 12. Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended after they heard these saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly father hath not planted shall be rooted up. That's right. Every plant that the Most High Yahweh hath not planted is going to be rooted up, man. Okay? As simple as that, man. And everything you're doing behind closed doors is going to be brought to light, man. Okay? Hey, if the Most High hasn't ordained you, okay? You know, if you're not a part of that elect or that one-third, okay? Hey, man. <laughs> you're going to meet destruction, man. Okay? It's simple as that, man. Only the elect alone with the one-third are going to be saved uh, from the destruction of this place, man. Saved from these calamities, man. All right? The rest of these people are going to die, man. It says, but he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Man. Okay. Verse 14, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. That's right. <laughs> hey, a lot of people are following these blind leaders, man. And you're both going to fall into the ditch, man. A lot of our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? That's who I'm talking to, you Israelites, man. All right? You follow these blind leaders, man. Okay? You follow these false teachers, whether they be the, the whether they be false teachers or prof, false prophets of the other nations. Okay? Or whether it be false teachers or prophets of, of, of our nation, man. Okay? Of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? Our people love following the doctrines of these heathens, man. They love following the ways of this world, man. Okay? It says, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. That's right, man. Hey, man. That pastor and preacher is, is leading the majority of our people down that broad path to destruction, man. He's leading you straight to death, man. Okay? And you and him are going to find yourself in the ditch, man. All right? He's going to lead you down the path to what? Ultimately, the RFID microchip, man. Okay? You think these pastors and preachers, when this chip is is, is pushed to its, its full, fullest extent, uh, uh, aren't going to be telling you people to take the chip? Aren't going to have chipping parties and chipping sessions in the church? I think you're going to pay your tithes and offerings. Okay? These pastors and preachers are going to be pushing, okay, that RFID microchip, man. 
They're already doing the bidding of these devils, man, and they're going to continue to do the bidding of these devils, man. Okay, for the like the scripture says, for the love of money is the root of all evil, man. All right, and these pastors and preachers, they love money. You know, you think they're going to, hey, man, when this dollar collapsed and everything switched over to this biometric system, this uh, the RFID microchip. Okay, these pastors and preachers are going to be on board, man. They're going to be with it. And they're going to be supporting it, and they're going to be promoting it, man. All right? Hey, man. Like the title says, man. <laughs> I'm going to read it again. Police ID pastor accused of urinating on female Delta passenger. He peed on me. Okay? And we're seeing a whole lot of, uh, of things that are uh, uh, coming to light, man, amongst these false teachers, these pastors and preachers, man. Okay? All types of scandals, all right, are coming to light, man. All right? By how about Shimmy out Sha? All right, he's bringing these secrets out, man. That these people don't, uh, these pastors don't want uh, uh, out there, man. He's bringing the things that you do behind closed doors to light, man. Okay. Hope it was edifying. Until the next one, I want to say shalom.